Hello and welcome everyone to part 10 of the Empire Total War Sweden Darth Mod Let's Play. And boy, I've been excited for this one, not only because it's an hour special, because it means I get a lot more time to play in one sitting, which is always good fun, but I've been renaming the regiments before I hit the end turn. Now, correct me if I'm wrong and please do tell me in the comments, but obviously playing as many games and Total War games as I do, I sometimes do forget how to access some of the features. I've renamed my individual units, but am I wrong in thinking that you can't rename the whole army like you can in, say, Rome 2? Because uh, I know I had a couple of people saying, oh, name your army this, and I don't know if we're all getting a bit confused because of the convenience of the army naming system in, uh, in Rome 2 or not. But anyway, I have renamed several regiments. Now don't fear if your regiment name that you suggested hasn't been picked now. Actually at the moment it's mainly that I've run out of regiments or suitable names for the regiments um, for for, in, for infantry and what have you that you've suggested because some of them are clearly sharpshooter names or cavalry names and I have no great cavalry regiments. I have provincial cavalry which I've actually named provincial defenders at the moment because um, I didn't really feel that they, they'd earned a, a glorious name to be honest. Obviously I lost a lot of troops at Ingra last time to um, to Russia, and they're going to be a thorn in my side. Now, I actually, before I ended the turn, I'll show you again now. We may, maybe it'll be different, but I, I pretty much offered Russia everything. Uh, I requested peace. I offered them Estonia and Livonia. No, they're not going to take that. So I'll just show you guys what I did because I don't want you guys to think that I didn't try everything here to get peace. Uh, and I gave them technology and everything as well. Then they're not interested at all. They want to steamroll me at this stage, which sucks. Um, although having a look at their enemies, they are at war with me. They're at war with the Ottoman Empire. They're at war with Prussia. And they're at war with the Crimean Khanate. So I'm hoping at some point they have to pull an army over somewhere. Um, and I'm hoping that perhaps the Ottomans can push up and cause some problems for them, which will allow me to strike now. Strike back now. Because of that reason, I'm not giving up on Estonia. I actually last turn. Um, before I ended it, set in two more units of line infantry to be recruited, and I'm going to do exactly the same again here. Now, what's this? This is a regiment of foot, just standard line infantry, just slightly different. They have, oh, I remember they have higher um, melee defense, but these guys have better accuracy, which is what I want. So I'm going to put two more units of them in there. My economy has obviously shot back up because... I'm no longer being blockaded, I've got lots of trade going on, I'm defending my ports as much as I can. Denmark is long dead. So with this army up here, we're replenishing it as quickly as we can. I'm going to put the recruit, uh, replenish on there. Once they're ready, we're going to take our little ship here. And we're going to invade um, Dublin. We're going to take um, Ireland from the UK. If, for some reason, the UK strikes back with very strong armies, very strong forces, but we can't push back. I mean, they've got a full stack here. Um, and we can't defeat them, then we will then cede Ireland back to the UK in return for peace, if possible. Meanwhile, at Stockholm, I'm also building up an army here, but I'm actually going to be setting that drill school to start recruiting, or start re uh, building up, because look at the units we can now access after that. And some of these guys, I will still give them names, but um, a lot of them obviously have their own separate, u uh, separate names already, which makes them interesting, and I don't need to change them. So we're going to upgrade that, but I'm still going to recruit line infantry. Now, in fact, every unit that I put in this army is going to have a name. Some armies will just have a few units. Some of them will be complete, uh, you know, complete armies full of uh, custom names. So we have the blue and yellow. We have Vasa's own, who I've been told was the honor of is in should be named in the honor of uh, Gustav Vasa, who I think was it defeated the Kalmar Union and made Sweden independent. Uh, obviously, I don't know if this is true on Swedish uh, history. I've only pretty much the only time I've ever really looked at Swedish history. It would be the Thirty Years' War, uh, Gustavus Adolphus. Uh, that's that's pretty much um, Gustavus Adolphus, rather. But then even that, it's been about a year and a half since I last studied that period of history. So I'm a little bit rusty, but I can probably grab out my textbooks and have a look. Um, but yeah, we've got Vasa's own. We've got the Northmen, and we've got. Um, is it Bjornberg's regiment? I might be horrific saying these horrifically. So, again, I had someone say the other day, I think it was the, the, the cavalry unit, the, the 
I can't even remember how to say it, but it begins with an H. They were armoured cavalry units, which I lost over Ingra. But uh, someone was saying, that's that's Finnish, not Swedish line art. Honestly, I have no clue. Um, as bad as it sounds, to be honest, it probably, to me, seems or sounds all the same. It sounds Scandinavian to me. Um, so I honestly have no clue. So um, potentially, maybe before going off on a rage about how I'm saying it completely wrong, I'm never going to, you know, I don't know how to say it right. I've never lived in Sweden in my life. I'm not Diplex. So, <laughs> uh, I really don't have a clue of how to say something. So, be kind. And, uh, yeah, also, you guys did tell me that there's a college in Norway, which I've not been using, which needs repairing. That's most of my money. But, um, that's fine. So, that's the, all those guys named over here. Now, I have gone through and named the majority of this army. We've got the Provincial Defenders, because I didn't think they were worthy of any other titles or anything like that. And then we have Mighty Thunder and Thor's Hammer as artillery six-pounder regiments. We have the Unsullied as my pikemen. That's kind of tidying over my Empire Total War Group Britain Let's Play. Uh, I love calling my pikemen the Unsullied. I love Game of Thrones. We've got the Super Troopers. <laughs> Good old ABBA. Um, Guardians of Ikea. Odin's Wrath, uh, Valhalla's Chosen, Lions of the North, old Adolphus there, uh, Mjolnir's Strike, and then we have these guys which still need names. So if you have any infantry names, and we've got two more cannon names that can be chosen for this army, do be specific. And when you when you put down a name for regiment, please highlight whether it should be for an infantry regiment cannon. And basically, I've built up a whole. I've got a notepad open on my second monitor with a list of all the various names that I've got. Some I haven't used up everything on the list because some of them are clearly for foot guards, for as I said, uh, sharpshooters. So I'll be saving them for later on. But feel free to to put them in the comments. I will pick them up periodically, and I will periodically rename the regiments. So. Um, back to the actual gameplay. Um, what can we do here? We can't recruit. Oh, we are. We are. We could use a few more units actually of, of uh, infantry here. I can't upgrade this any further. That's as far as I can go. Unfortunately, which sucks actually. Um, I would like to make this more of a staging ground. So I'm actually kind of tempted to dismantle this and rebuild it as a military one. Um, I should be able to do that. That's that there. We've got a fishing port here. Um, fourth rate ship. It wouldn't be a bad idea building up my navy again, but if I'm going to do it from anywhere, I'm going to do it from... Uh, no, actually, probably would be a good idea. Oh, no, we, can, we can build it from here. I'm going to build up some fourth rates, because I need to re rebuild my, um, my navy. Now, um, I know a lot of you have already said this in the comments, but I'm going to have to say the same thing I said when I took over the USA. Just because you're a Dutch viewer, and you're telling me not to attack the Dutch doesn't mean I won't attack the Dutch. In this game, essentially, my objectives are to conquer lots and lots of the world. I've got to hold loads of regions. Even if your land is not part of my my objectives, I may well still take your land and go on for like something like world domination because it's just you know an easy picking. I will probably end up going for the Dutch at some point, unless France does, uh, because they're at war with them and they're pushing back here. So we'll see how France responds. Um, but if I do take your your territory out, if I do take your land out, I know obviously the Denmark um, viewers, the Danish viewers, it's nothing personal. It's a game. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd make that clear. Um, so I'm repairing that when I have... Uh, I'm repairing that now. I'm repairing this one as well. Because uh, we can kind of get carbines and we can get obviously more research going on. I'm going to need to look into the economics of, of various bits and bobs. Um, I think that's everything. I'm not going to recruit any more units here, mainly because I don't have any money. We're going to try and hold Estonia if Russia come for us here, if, if, if we can. Um, you know, we're going to try and hold here. Anyway, I'm going to end the turn, and you know what? We'll give it one end turn in this because it's a one hour special. We'll show one end turn phase, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on, because I know you guys do appreciate that. And then for the rest of this um, one hour special, I will be cutting out the end turn phases, just because for some reason it slows it down, even though I'm using a hardware encoder rather than a software encoder, so it has no physical impact on my FPS. So, yeah, odd that. It's uh, Ottoman end turn craziness. Looked like the French went in there and kicked the Dutch out of their port over at Amsterdam. But they've uh, they've pushed back and they're sending an army out. Looks like they're sending their forces to kick France back. Moving armies about. Yep, they're going to war with them. They're pulling up their forces. They've got a little army in there. Some of you have said from Iceland I should look to go to America and set up a colony there in case I get into trouble. I kind of don't want to yet, as I said. I'm going to go for see if I can swoop in and take out Britain first. If I can, obviously that will make things a lot easier in... 
the uh, in the American theater, the North American theater, because their colonies will rebel. They'll turn into the states. But we mustn't be hasty. Obviously, if I can, I will see if I can send some ships to India and see if I can start uh, a conquest of India, because there's much wealth to be had there. But, you know, taking things slow, I'm getting my economy back on track. I'm going to build up my navy, because that is a crippler in this game, because the AI will quite mercilessly uh, hit my trade routes, and then that, that screws over my entire... Um, my entire uh, trade. See, now, that, that time... Ottomans didn't take long at all. What the hell? Nor did Russia, actually, which does in a way scare me because it means they're taking quick action or they're not doing too much, which think makes me think, what are they planning next? I don't like it. I'm going to have some tea to calm my nerves. Hanover might be an interesting target to go for, but I need to check who they're allied to because I have a feeling they've probably got some intricate alliances which will stop. Um, you know, will stop me. Um, from from doing stuff. So I've completely lost my train of thought because I just had a very exciting email flash up on my phone. And I'm like, oh, what's up? So yeah, oh yeah, that seriously that email really just made my face smile hugely again. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you what it's about, but it's gonna be so awesome, guys. You guys are gonna love it. Um Oh excitement. I'm a happy line hop. I'm not even looking at these, I really should be paying attention. Right, line hop, zone in, focus, reply to that email in in fifty minutes when you finish this recording. Come on. Come on, boy. Right. <laughs> So, uh, oh, we've, got, uh, we've reached the limit. Yes, we have. So we now got to go with normal line infantry here, or we can go for dragoons or dragoons. <laughs> um, I assume these guys are better than the standard dragoons, are they? Right, uh, seven, eleven, six, seven, eleven, five. Ah, they have slightly higher morale. Well, I do like slightly higher morale. Now, you guys, obviously, we've got three more line infantry here. Get busy with some names, chaps. Obviously, for this, think, you know normal line infantry specific names, nothing guards of foot or something like that because that'll be for my foot guard regiments when I get them. So I'm going to go straight away and just recruit three more units of infantry here. We're going to start repairing all these bits which have been wrecked um, by the Danes. Ruddy Danes. Wrecked everything. Actually, they, they really did wreck everything. I know I could switch through bits in my province here to repair them all, but I kind of, in a way, like the process of going through slowly and steadily. Right, we have... This is a... Oh, this is a, sh this is a dry dock, but it's not as advanced as the fishery, which is odd that the fishery can get better ships earlier on, but anyway. Uh, we're going to upgrade this drill school as well, because I want to be able to pump out some decent units. Cool. Do, 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 do. And now that that's ready, we've got the carbines. That's going for cannon shot, which is useful. And we're going to go for um, empiricism. And if you can hear a weird alarm going off in the background, guys, that is in someone's alarm somewhere. Which I really hope they turn off soon, because otherwise that's going to be annoying. Um, this one. Social contract. Oh, there we go. It's gone. Yeah, we're going to go for this first, or... No, we're going to go for this. Obviously, we can go for industry. I just need to like, spam out some schools in places. Right, Hanover. We were going to see if they're a loophole. But I have a feeling at the same time they may well not be. Allied with Austria, Britain, Savoy, and the United Provinces. So, no. But we're going to see if we can get trade with them. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I... Mm. I would want at least 3k if you're going to want military access. Oh, 20 turns. Okay, yeah, you can have 20 turns for 2k. Actually, no. You can have it for 10 turns for 2k, rather not 20k. Oh, 10 turns and that payment. You know what? That'll do. I'll take it. Boom. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Portugal. Hey, guys. How would you guys feel about a trade agreement? No, oh, that's a bit rude. Come on. 
You need carbines. I'm going to give you carbines for a trade agreement. Oh, they'll pay me a thousand for it. Yeah, I'll take that as well. But also, I still want that trade. <laughs> I still want that trade agreement. Um, technology ring bayonet. There we go. Boom. I probably could have got some money out of that as well, but, you know, it's fine. I don't mind giving Portugal that, because they're a little Portugal. They'll be fine. Allied with Spain and Venice. It's okay. How's Great Britain? They're minus 25. They actually don't hate me so much. I probably could get peace from them. But I think I'd rather try and take them out. The United Provinces. No, that's just being rude. Russia. What about peace with Russia? No, they still find it un uh, uh, regrettable. Okay. But at the same time, what this does mean is that I can recruit more troops here. And yet again, I'm spamming out that line infantry because that's what has my has my back here. We do have uh, fort fortification, so if they do attack me, I'll be able to absolutely wreck them here. Um, thinking about that. Oh, damn, I can't upgrade this to a military bit. Uh, um, to fortifications, rather. I can upgrade this to a military bit. Right, we're going to upgrade here. And then we're going to recruit some... Oh, we can't get infantry yet. Damn, okay, so we definitely need to upgrade it. Well, we're going to go for... Uh, we're going to go for these guys. Because they have a good charge bonus. So that's good. Um, is everything healed here or has it been raided? You need healing. That's about all I can afford to do this turn. We're building up an army here. Ready with this army to strike back at Russia, basically. That's the, that's the plan there. And also probably to put... And we're going to build up an army at Copenhagen as well once we can. Right, are these guys ready? No, they're still replenishing. So, you know what? I am going to be with my little sixth rate. We're going to come and have a little scout out of Britain. This may well draw them up here, but I do need to do a bit of scouting. Okay, they have a little army here. Oh, France has hit their port. This is good because that normally cripples their economy. Edinburgh. We could go straight for Edinburgh in that case. Annoying that France have actually got in there first, but Edinburgh is fortified and has better buildings. That would be the better place to go, because then we can actually hold Britain off. Right, that's where we're going. We're going to go for Edinburgh. Um, back here. Hopefully those guys will be replenishing. So, you know what? I know I said I wasn't going to include it, but so far the end turns have been pretty short. So I'm going to risk another end turn. If this cocks up on me, then lesson learnt, Lionheart. But last time it didn't go too far. And this, this you know, I'm, I'm always... I know I'm going back on this now, because obviously I said... I would cut it out. But the reason why I don't like cutting that is because I do feel it's nice to see what's going on in the intern phase. Austria going after France. Yeah, I do find... I find that really enjoyable to watch. So I assume, for the most part, you guys do. I assume the only time you really guys you guys don't enjoy watching it is when it takes too long. Um, you know, I assume that's probably the main issue you guys have with it. Or some people have been vocal about not liking it before. Um, so, yeah. That's... Um, I'm completely the same, you know, I wouldn't want to watch it if it's going to take ages, like one of those turns I showed in the previous part, which took only like four or five minutes for the Ottomans to get through, and it was ridiculous. But if it is going to be quick, that I don't mind. Prussia, we've got them coming back to Berlin, they managed to fight back against the Austrians. It's make or break time, Ottoman Empire. Decide what you're going to do. Yeah, Prussia is hitting back, and I'm hoping they could get themselves into a strong position to push back against Russia. But at the same time, Austria does look like it's expanding pretty well. And I love how their map has glitched out a little bit on their flag. <laughs> on oh, their map, their, their icon, rather, on their, on their flag. Oh, dear. Texture glitch. Russia. See, that, I mean, that didn't take long at all. That I don't mind showing, and I'm pretty sure you guys probably agree. Russia being the full... I'm waiting for them to move that army. I've got my rake stuck in there, and my... Mission missionary there. So, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on them for now. We'll obviously try and push back against Inga at some point because it isn't fortified. So it does make things easier. Obviously, we could bring an army to the fort uh, over here, where I pulled in some troops from before. The Mughal Empire, they've already killed the Marathans. Although, look, is that that Britain pushing in there? We'll have to go check that out. I need to go check out India. I would love to be if there's a way of... If there's a mod of somehow removing the human player and just watching the AI duke it out. That would be quite funny, actually. I quite enjoy that, just seeing them take over territories. Right, so trade route raided. That hasn't done too much damage to my economy. 
in many cases not turn Yeah, so Britain's pushing down. Look at them. They've taken out France because they normally start there, I believe, uh, with Darth Mod, and they've managed to get down here. Okay, I assume perhaps they turned on the Marathans, and that's how they gained those extra territories. Let's just have a look at Britain, see if they're at war with the Mughals. No, they're not at war with the Mughal Empire, so they're actually allied to them. Yeah, they allied up with them and then took out the, the Marathans. Well, these bits should all rebel um, when I take out Britain, if I can take out Britain, and then I may well look to come down here. Start setting up the Mughal Empire. Um, how, how are we with the Mughal Empire? They are very friendly, to be fair. The reason why we can't get alliance with them is because they're already allied with Britain. How do they feel about Britain? They really do love a bit of Britain. Right, well, let's let's actually have a look at the states quickly, see what's going on with this dynamic. Anything changing rapidly? Um, not really. Looks pretty normal. Obviously, New Spain being quite the power. Um, or Spain, rather, not New Spain, being quite the power. There is New Spain as well, I think. Is there not? No. Just me. And it's been Spain, quite the power. France obviously having its colonies over here. Britain uh, being able to push down to the Huron territory there. And they've got the Iroquois, which I believe they're allied with, so they can hold out there. So Britain, Britain is at war with France, are they not? Yes, good. All right. Hopefully that's causing them lots of trouble. Right, back to Europe. And back to my holdings up in Iceland. Everyone always forgets about Iceland up here. And we've replenished everything, which is fantastic. Right, we're going to pop everyone down to the port. Because we're going to go take Scotland. Scotland, laddie. Some of you want independence. Well, we're here to give it to you. And uh, I know I've not got a full stack here, but there should be more than enough, I hope, to take it. Right. And we are going to try and go for that port. But we'll have to see if France is still there. If not, we'll have to drop them off to the side here. Okay, Britain's pushed back with, an art, with a force there. going to push there. We might have to take out the infantry as well. And meanwhile, I'm going to attack and blockade their trade route there, which should cripple them. Should get us a little bit of extra money. We've got a good economy at the moment, and I'm going to go straight in for Scotland, laddie. They are obviously defended. It is Fort Walls, but I have plenty of cannon with me, and we can hopefully knock that down. Right up in Iceland, though, because we don't want to forget about you guys. We're gonna. Oh, I can only can I only do the magistrate? In case that was pointless, I just destroyed that for nothing. Fine, whatever. Lion fail. Yes, 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 yes. Here come those comments. Um, I might make another fourth rate up here actually, because I don't have many places to push them out for now. Uh, unless this is one up here. Yes, it is. Let's just build fourth rates everywhere. Build up that navy. Um, I can actually sail a ship all the way around up here if I wanted to and attack them up there. That might be useful. Just to bear in mind, at some point. They've not bothered to prepare anything. I'm thinking maybe Russia doesn't have the forces. But meanwhile, they're allowing me to build up quite a substantial army here. And we're going to make you guys a general. Uh, or give you guys a general, rather. Um, one, two, three, four. Obviously, think of lots of names, guys, for infantry regiments. Because I've got all these guys here. Oh, we need to replenish you guys. Sorry. Completely slipped my mind. Um, infantry, 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 infantry. In this case, probably just some cannons. will add something there. Um... Right here, yeah. pop in two units of cannon for now. Over here, we're waiting for that to upgrade. Uh, but we'll add in more of these guys and we'll give you guys a general over here too. Over here, uh, we've got lots of infantry now. We'll probably start to look at some cannons. So let's put three cannons in here for this army. Another naval unit, if you wouldn't mind, laddie. Fifth rate. Now we're going to go. Uh, oh no, it's fifth rates there. Whoops. We want fourth rates for now. Just that power. Um, do, 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 do. um recruiting more units here. Now we're going to wait until that's done. But we will pop another general in here to help with management and what have you. That will do. These guys need repairing, and I don't have enough money to do that this turn. So we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. We're going for Scotland, though, which is going to be good, I hope. And technology, we're on that. Canister shot. Boom. We're upgrading the drill school so we can get the next lot, and then we can get fire by rank, and then I can celebrate. Because I love that fire by rank. They've pulled back to Edinburgh. Very sensible. Britain's coming up here to push my navy back, so I'm going to flee, because they will kill me. Flee, 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 flee. So I have no, I have no way of retreating right now. I love how we've gotten all the way back to our port. We have no way of retreating right now. It's all or nothing to take Edinburgh. France. Go, go, go.
Ottomans, 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 what are you up to? Sorry, I was I was sneaking a peek at that email again. Oh, it's exciting. In a completely unrelated matter, if anyone is hope well, I'm hoping people are still watching at this point, completely unrelated matter, are any of you guys going to EGX London? So that is a big gaming convention um, with a lot of the upcoming and newest releases being shown uh, in Earl's Court, I believe. I'll be there Saturday, Sunday, which is the 27th and 28th of this month, September. Uh, I'll be there. I think quite a few other Total War YouTubers, UK-based at least, are attending. So please do let me know if you are going, because I would love to meet up with your faces. We can join in a vlog and stuff. That'd be cool. Okay, we've got a new agent, a new rake uh, up here, which would be useful. I'm going to send him over to spy on Russia for me. I can see where they're coming from. Have they managed to repair anything else here? They've not really been bothering, have they? Um, agents. Assassinate. Can I assassinate anyone? Uh, no. Can I sabotage anything? Uh, oh, good chance of sabotaging that. Anything higher? No, we'll try and sabotage it. Successful. We've hit the Opera House. Can of shot. Drill school. Workers on strike in Iceland. Oh, because I've moved the whole army out. They've just made themselves happy again because their repression's gone down. Whew, that's close. Um, successful mission. Oh, that's in him in here. Why can't I see what's the army stats if I've got a rake here? That's kind of confusing me a little bit. I forget how the agent system works in Empire, if I'm honest. No sense of shame. Plus one happiness, no middle Cool. He's been enjoying himself, the naughty boy. I think. Right, this army over here. Right, we're building up plenty of you dudes. We've got cannon now. We've got two units of cannon. That should be fine for now. Uh, we should probably get some regiment of horse in there. Because they're actually reasonably good, actually. Um, these guys still upgrading. We're waiting for that. These guys have a horrific charge bonus. Well, not a horrific charge bonus. A reasonable charge bonus and a really good melee defense. So I'm actually going to build up more of you guys. So all I'm going to do here. Sweden, we've unlocked the new bit. The new school. Oh, crap. Now, this is the only thing, the only thing I don't like about Darth Mod, in a way. M more, I probably, I guess I should probably blame CA. Not that I shouldn't blame them, but maybe that there must be an easier way of displaying this UI. Is that, when we get to this, it's very hard to see which units you want um, easily. We've got line infantry here, which have the same icon, actually, as a, as a light infantry unit. But they look pretty cool. Then we've got, I think, are these all unique individual infantry regiments? Which I won't need to name because they've got their own names to them. Yeah, these look like them. Kalmar Regiment. Early line infantry. Okay. So lots of these all having 40 accuracy. And limited to about two of them. So we can pop all these guys into an army. Ah, we have Grenadiers. They look pretty darn beastie. The is that ex expedite or ex patriate ex ex pats infantry exiles. Yeah. There we go. Um, Pike melee infantry. That's cool. They look cool. Um, what are these guys there? I missed the just uh, they're just militia. Right. Well, um, I'm going to go for throwing in some grenadiers into this army first. And we'll just work our way, I guess, from the line here, all the way down, just throw in some, some of these infantry. Although these are... Okay, no, we'll throw in these guys as well, actually. Lots of infantry. We've got the cannons. We need, actually, after this infantry, that's four. We probably should put in two units of cavalry, and then we're done for now. Heavy cav. Oh, cool. Sweet. That'll, that'll help things out. Oh, we've got these guys. Oh, damn. Look at you guys. You look beastie. Look at that attack. Damn. Those guys aren't bad either. Charge bonus. Sweet. Okay, that's that sorted. Right. Um, well, straight away. No, I'm afraid you're going straight for fire by rank. You've got three agents in there, but you're, you're going straight for fire by rank. Eight turns, and I'll be able to get it. Repairing here. And I think it's time for a battle, because we're half an hour in, and we haven't got a battle yet. But we, we have been building. Right, we're going to assault Edinburgh. Oh, they've got a reinforcing army. Damn, balls. Balls, balls, balls. That's not cool. 
That's not cool. Damn. Well, we're still going to try and do it. Oh, surrender accepted. What? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I, sorry guys, the battle's not just yet. These guys will probably come and attack us. We've just taken Edinburgh. <laughs> Why did they flee? They were going to be reinforced, unless they didn't hold that much up for their reinforcements. Sweet, no damage. That's all good, and we've now claimed... We have claimed Edinburgh! Uh, I could try and get a peace with Britain, but I'm going to see how this next battle goes, and then I'll decide. Could be... Could be a bit of a failing, but we'll see. We shall see. Actually, that probably has peed off Britain. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Ooh, Austria, very friendly, and I can get trade with you. Hello, dear friends. Yes, hi, friends. Do you have technology that I want? No. Well, you have some that you would like. Prussia, let's talk to them, because they sometimes get a lot of good technology early on. No. Okay, we could probably trade it all and get lots of money, but we don't really need it at the moment. And, as some of you said, like don't trade with the AI technology, because it does help them out a lot. But, at the same time, it is useful for getting money, but I'm going to, you know, I'm only going to have to trade them, I'm only going to agree to trade the technology if I absolutely have to. I'm going to actually agree to this, because this should still help me with my economy. Yeah, it's helped rather considerably. Right, we're still recruiting more ships, lots of them, which is good. That's what I want to see. These guys need replenishing when they can. And we're going to end the turn, and we're going to leave the end turn in again, because so far it's been fine. Okay, here they go. They're going to attack me here. We'll get to defend. We're fortified, so this should be a slaughter fest. Hopefully. Let's fight. We have a battle, chaps. If we defeat this army, as far as we can see on the map, they have an army sitting in a port, I believe. I think, believe Dover? Down south. Don't know if that means they've got an army in London. I would presume they probably do. So if that is the case, I'll try and swoop over and take out Dublin. Take out Ireland. And then we will see how much we can cripple them and move in on uh, London, which would be brilliant. So, hopefully, we can make Britain pay for all that naval raiding, which was a right pain in the ass. So Scotland, you've been um, well, you've been liberated from Great Britain, but I'm afraid I am now your new owner and overlord, and master, your king. Obey me. There'll be no Scottish freedom today. Well, you're free within the Great Empire of Sweden. So, it's hard to see where they're going to come by. I'm actually going to just grab... I could have done shift, actually, to get this to work. I'm going to grab all my infantry, single line them, and then I'm going to place them up on the walls again, because I don't like the way that they normally get put up on the walls by the... Uh, uh, by the AI. Also, some of you have been asking again, hopefully people are still watching this long into the one-hour special. I would like to think so, it's only halfway. A lot of people ask me, how can I put guys into a group, the infantry into a group, and then spread them however I want, as you can see here. Once you've got a unit into a group by going Control one or Control g or whatever, hold down Alt and press um, the number 2 on your keyboard. Alt 2. That is single line formation for infantry in Empire Total War. If you want to do single line in, um, for cavalry, you can do Alt 2, but it'll actually set them slightly further back from your cursor. If you want to do them dead on single line where your cursor is, it's Alt 4 for a single line for cavalry. So Alt 2 for infantry or light infantry, and that means you can then grab them in their group and manipulate them to whatever length line you want. Um, cannons, I'm going to have to leave you guys limbered up. Save the cannons, it's Alt 2. I'm going to have to leave you guys here because I don't want you firing at anyone. Unless they break through the gates and then I'll can us to shot their faces off. In which case I'll need to move my general. Um, we'll see. Uh, pikes, you can hopefully hold a defender gate, so we'll, put, we'll pop you guys here for now with pike wall. Uh, right. Infantry, infantry, infantry. We'll obviously have to maneuver these guys around when we find out that the enemy clearly isn't in a certain part of the wall. So we'll pop those guys there. I'm going to go along the top row first. They'll snap into position when they need to. It's the only annoying thing about Empire Total War, really. For, well, no, it's not the only annoying thing about Empire Total War. One of the annoying things, unfortunately, for Empire Total War is the 
popping units on the walls easily is not easy. Um, I'm going to pop one unit out here. Why can't I pop you out here? Do you not want to be here? No, clearly not. Well, we'll put you guys there and we'll pop you in there afterwards. I'm not going to actually have enough troops really to cover the whole wall, so I'm hoping they come from one side only. Pop you guys there. I mean, we've got these guys. They can jump on the wall. We've got we've probably got just enough to cover most of the walls. Just not everything. There we go. That'll do. Right. Start the battle. Find out where they're coming from. They're coming from over here. Okay. That is not a problem, which means all these guys... Um, Actually, these guys would do good coming up over there. You guys don't need to be on the wall at all. You, well, not that part anyway. You guys can be... Better run, you guys. You chaps as well. And you guys can form on up down here because we'll probably put you on that front bit if we can that bastion out there uh, if I like arm citizenry you know we'll keep you there where you can't cause too much harm hopefully we'll put my general over here actually just in case I get hit by cannons right in the enemy comes my infantry trying to hold the walls trying to push them back they're actually destroying our parapets at the moment which is not too good and they're doing a lot of damage to my infantry so I need them to get closer before I can really do the damage you see Unfortunately, the AI has cannons, so they kind of know how to use that. Might have to pull these guys off the, that part of the wall, otherwise they'll be broken. So I probably won't want to put my infantry out on here just yet. Super troopers, come on. Super trooper. Da, 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 da. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. These guys are formed up here on some cannon. Boom! Firing into the enemy ranks. Unfortunately, we can't get them to really form up with the rest of the infantry. I have to hope they're firing. That's been hit pretty bad. Um, we might need to pull back with you guys because this is going to be blown off. Although well, they are attacking now, so maybe they won't blow their, up their own men. We'll find out. We've got to repel them. Repel them, men! Defend the walls! Defend the walls! Mustn't let them in. They're going to come around here, I think, for a side entrance. Pollock Sissonry, it's all on you guys. You guys are running to get up on this parapet here. Could move one of the units that's slightly closer, but for now, I'm not going to. Ooh, they're really hitting this bit hard, but they've got infantry coming on up, so I don't know if they're going to blow up their own men or not. Um, this is the 16th Regiment of Foot. Oh, that, that sounded... Oh, dear. Well, I was hoping that would kill more of their men than mine, but they have just taken out a whole infantry regiment plus a huge... Oh, no, they, they survived just. That's all that's left of them. Um, well, that's not good. That is not good at all. And they've actually... You could surely crawl through there. That is... <laughs> I thought I should probably pull them back. I didn't know how much the wall would get taken off there. Um, yeah, that's not good. These guys are holding. Wow. Um, damn. Damn it. Um, that happened. They're just going to keep on trying to blow my walls to pieces. They're not actually interested in coming on up the walls. They're wanting to blow holes in it. So I think if that's the case with their cannons, I'm going to pull these guys off the walls. But we'll just give it a little... I want to see just a little bit more to see if they're actually going to attack here or not. These guys are trying to climb up, I think. We have... Farlock Sissonry desperately trying to fire here. Damn it. Well, that's that's a whole unit lost. That's not good. These guys are wavering, but come on. You guys can hold the walls. Come on. I've seen epic defences before. We're going to pull this off. Okay, they're hitting my wall here, so I'm going to get these guys off. We're going to get ready to form up in the gap that's going to be made when these guys tear down the wall. Hold your la hold your lines. Hold your ground. Back the bridge. I'm gonna bring my general up. And you guys actually you can stop firing. I need you guys later on. Hold the British back. Hold them back. Got some of them coming up the walls here. 
Steady. Steady, man. General's here. Oh, dear. That's a lot of damage to that part of the wall. And we have units climbing up here, do we? Don't know what's going on with this infantry unit here, to be fair. Run them in there to defend for now. We can pop some units in here, actually. In the back, so I'm going to pop these guys in there. Steady yourselves, men. Why are you guys running away? Getting a little bit laggy, unfortunately, now, which does sucketh. Oh, the cavalry is able to come on in. I thought so. I thought they would be able to. Form up square. Oh, no, you can't form square. Pikes. I'm surprised they didn't attack earlier. We've unfortunately got a little bit of lag going on. Cavalry. Form one up. Form square. I was waiting for them to push on through. They've been able to make it through. We have a breach in the walls. These guys are being hit very hard. Building capture, we have the barracks. Just need to hold these guys, and we need to hold enough of my men to be able to replenish them. Fire at will once you're in there, chaps. Form square, form square, form square. Building lost, we've lost a gatehouse. Oh, down hit balls, they've hit from behind. The sneaky turds. Never expected it from behind. <laughs> oh dear. Um, we're desperately fighting up here on the walls. Trying to hold them ready Brits back. We should probably deploy these guys over here. They're only militia. We'll deploy these guys over here. Come on, we can do this. Pikes, we should probably get you guys into the mix. Little square, do your stuff. Uh, you guys form the square as well. Need to break these guys as they as they punch on through. I'm trying to break these guys as they climb up the walls. Hit these guys down here. How are we doing up on this side? They are attacking, and it's the firelock citizenry which are getting stuck in here, which aren't going to do that well. So we're going to have to send in the other units to try and just hold them hold them at bay for now. Uh, I could use my cannons, but I don't. I think it's going to cause some more damage than it's worth. Right, cavalry, back you come because you're really getting stuck into the wrong bits right now. Infantry, try and hold on up for as long as you can. Line between your squares. Try and hold up, guys in the buildings. Keep on firing whenever possible. No, no, no. You were given. You were given a very specific order over here. You will obey it. Trying to deal with a naughty child. Where have these guys gone? Don't say they went outside. Oh no, they're mainly all there. Okay. These guys, how are we doing against the Brits? Uh, pretty, pretty close. The British do have pretty good stats. Uh, cavalry! Obey your master! Over here. Sodding cav. That's, that's what I want to see. Regiment of horses breaking all over the place. The yeomanry. That's what I want to see. Pikes forward march. Breaking these guys up on the walls. I might need to bring these guys up here to deal with the British troops. So I'm going to send them over there. Go, 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 go. Hold these guys at bay. I'm glad the, the AI can come through here because it does make it seem a lot more realistic. We hit the line infantry here with the pikes. Even if it is a bit laggy. Go, pikes, go. Charge in with your pikes, lads. Stuck in, men. Swarm through. Go for an end zoom through the tunnel. How are we doing? Charged on through, we're hitting the hitting the infantry, we're wavering them, which is good. Jolly good. Line infantry, if you can, 
Yeah, keeping your square formation. You guys hold against the enemy cab. That's good. You guys need to hold on up there. We've been hit by militia. We're punching back, though. Cavalry, in fact, you can help with this punch. Charge down here. How are you guys doing up here? 119 of you guys versus 110. Getting very close. There is tipping in our favour, though. Trying to beat this infantry back up on the walls. Not going to be an easy fight. Forts don't make it easy. So I made a boo-boo by letting that my infantry die up there, unfortunately. They have... They have survived in this form. This is all that's left of them. Hit the cavalry pikes. Reform your square. I'm actually going to pull this square back because I want these guys to survive so that obviously I can replenish them up. Because that was my fault that I let them all get completely and utterly annihilated there. I'm going to get the infantry off the walls here. Form up back down here because we'll push out against the cannons. All these guys. Keep firing, man. Keep firing. Over here we've got some cavalry. Oh, and my cab did exactly what I told them to do. Jolly good. Right, we've got more cavalry and infantry coming around here. Which we need to take down. Smidge of lots of lag. <laughs> lots and lots of obviously lag. Come on, men. I shouldn't have given these guys a charge while they were going near my infantry because that means they do friendly fire. Which isn't so good. These guys are... Oh, they're still there. We'll kill them then. Charge. Go, 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 go for them. 89. Oh, we're both wavering a lot over here. Come on. Really go for it, guys. Pikes hit the enemy pikes. Over here, guys, form up. I hate how we've suddenly got this huge spa um, spike of lag that shucketh. Oh, these guys have been hit by the cavalry here. I'm desperately trying to get them up here to hit the infantry. They've been broken. Cavalry here. I think we're going to have to go after the general's bodyguard for now. Right, you guys, would you obey my orders? That's what I want. Okay, no, you're still going after these guys. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to hit fast forward because of the lag at the moment. That make it seem a smidge better. I'm just going to pull my pikes back because they're not in the right formation to really be hitting. No, full laggage, not good. That's it, run back, come on. Can we hit play again because that's just too laggy-tastic. Hit the cavalry as they come on in, hit the pikes as they come on in. Kind of more importantly, actually, would you form up properly? Ah, laggage central. No, 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 that's not good. One of the reasons, unfortunately, why I, why I don't like siege battles because we get this happening. Something, that's why, in a way, I kind of want to desperately see a, uh, an Empire 2 at some point, because it would be great to see this game with working sieges, because I think there's a lot of potential here for some fun action. But most of the time it's a laggy mess, and these guys are starting to waver, which is not good. I need to pull my, pull my general over here, and I can't, I don't have much control over what's going on. Oh, there we go, it's fine. something's finally twigged. We've got our speed back. Okay, finally we can actually... Oh no, they're, they're lagging again a little bit. It's the enemy pikes. Break these pikes and we'll be okay. Oh, thank crap for that. We did break these guys up here. Some of these guys are stuck up on the walls. Because when you do get that lag, it makes it very difficult to effectively engage with the enemy as you would like to. Right, these guys here, we've actually defeated them up on the wall, so you need to get, form back up on here and we're going to get some fire by, well, some volleys going. These guys have broken them up there. Good, 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 good. 
trying to kill the pikes here. Get my own pikes involved as well. If we can just charge in my infantry and try and break them that way. Uh, I'm going to try and take out their cannons up here. I'm sending my units of line infantry out to just deal with them. Because right now my cavalry is tied up. Oh dear. We're losing cannon over here. Send my general in there. That bit, No, it's Thor's hammer. No. Not cool. I'm sure I shouldn't charge them through them because they'll take friendly fire. Oh, guys, just form square. Carrie's getting butchered. These guys are getting butchered. Let's form square. Come on, pull this around. Ruddy lag. Don't make me lose Thor's hammer. I've already lost a lot of their crews. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rename another one Thor's hammer because they've just defeated the whole crew. Sorry, Thor. Push through with my infantry here. Won the day over this side, so let's pull more of my infantry down here where they got got behind me because I didn't see them coming. So that's that's my fault there. I should have had some units deployed. I should have left them deployed up on the wall, then we wouldn't have had this trouble back here. I should now pull the pikes down this way. Come on, I need a good volley into the enemy enemy general right now because they're killing my cav, my provincial defenders. Come on, you lot. Give it a fire. There we go. That's what we want to see. Kill their general. Make him waver. Are these guys broken. No, they're tired. You know what? We're going to charge in against the infantry here with my with my infantry. We get a good charge in. Come on. Get stuck in there, men. Help me, general, out. Go, go, go. They still don't have um, bayonets, which they can use. Uh, they don't have plug bayonets. I think we've just broken these guys. That should be game over for them. Form one up. Get my general back over here, please, if you wouldn't mind. Keep going up against these cannons, please, as well. I don't think they're firing anymore. For some odd reason. Oh, what? I've been attacked again up here. They've come back. Keep on firing. Come on. Keep killing. You can do it. You've got loads of veterancy. You can hold in there, men. They're very tired. You're tired. You can totally win it on the basis of how fatigued you are. <laughs> Cavalry, charge down here. These guys form square. These guys charge after said cavalry. You guys out of square. Along with these guys over here. Pikes charge after cav. Sometimes I find toggling it on and off makes them shoot faster. They'll shoot earlier. Should be a good volley though when it comes on through. No, 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 you're not cavalry. Come back, come back, come back. Come on, they're going to get a volley in any moment now. Come on, surely. Surely, come on. There we go, should have them. Oh, this is not really doing anything. The cannons, the cannons I think are now starting to fire or getting ready to fire, so we're going to charge in over here. We've beaten those guys back again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Enemy general's been killed. Hazar, 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 Hazar. Right, it's just those bits to go, and they've just gone. So I think we have a victory. Yay! I'm going to end the battle. A heroic victory. I'm going to chase them anymore. Oh dear. My losses might be rather extreme. I'm hoping we can replenish most of them rather quickly. Because um, it's going to be quite upsetting. But uh, we, we've managed to do that. Obviously my fault for letting those guys stay on the wall too long. I didn't know how much of it was going to get blown up. And then suddenly it did. Which is not too good. Right. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, well they lost 3,801. We lost 2,233.
Uh, and there's a, a lot of friendly fire in there as well. A lot of friendly fire. 500 friendly fire kills. Um, yeah, not as much friendly fire for them. I don't know how, obviously, how many men died in that wall takedown and how much that takes out of it, but still. Damn, we need to replenish quickly because otherwise we're going to get. Um, well, we're going to get delayed here. Uh, and we won't be able to keep on pushing. So that's them pushed back. I might maybe see if this is the time to try and sue for peace with Britain. Maybe might be wiser than uh, trying to continue while we're in this state. And then we can declare war again on them. Well, actually, and I have to be careful because I have to see what allies they'll bring in. If this does indeed happen. These guys are going to try and come and affect my ports. I am going to do an auto-resolve here. Way we lost. Oh no, Prussia was there. Cool. They're dead. Good, good, good. That's the Prussian reinforcements. Spain, what if thou up to? What if thou up to? Poland, Lithuania. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> and over to the Ottomans. I'm hoping... Just put the pressure on Russia, would you? Put that pressure on Russia. Well, we've done... I think we've done reasonably well. We're still building up our forces, building up our economy. Russia hasn't come to attack us, and it's allowed me to build up my force at Estonia. So I'm happy with that, and hopefully in the next part we'll be able to maybe threaten them a little bit. But as you guys have seen, I've got plenty of regiments for you guys to name, mainly line infantry, so kind of keep it nothing too glorified, because they are only line infantry. Um, but yeah, do obviously leave those posts in the comments. should also say, I should say this at the start of the video, I've got a new gaming giveaway, um, because my headset one finished, and the winner was selected from that randomly. Um, I've got another random giveaway on my Facebook page this time and it's for a gaming keyboard there's a choice of three keyboards uh, if you win because I didn't know if people preferred mechanical keyboards or non-mechanical um, and then I would dispatch that through to you from Amazon so there's only one winner um, but you have a choice of which keyboard you want if you win the giveaway and that's going on until the 19th of September and the link to that is in the description and then after that finishes the third gaming giveaway will be directly here on YouTube so if you don't have any of those social media accounts you feel like you're missing out fear not the final one will be here on YouTube um, right so in a way I wish I had oh I could but I could scout with cavalry actually I could use these guys to scout see if they've got much of a force these guys obviously are gonna die uh, they're not gonna send an army up against me straight away so I will try and replenish up. I will also recruit three units of line infantry. I think we'll hold here. We, I don't know. We're not going to end this turn again before we start the next part. So I'll le let you guys sort of advise me in the comments. You know whether you think I should really. That's, that's another line fell of the part destroying that. Thinking I could get a a military one there. Obviously not. Um, but yeah, do let me know what you think I should do. Should I get peace with Britain? Obviously after taking. Um, taking Scotland they should be a bit more inclined to that sort of reasoning okay so we need oh, we've got some cavalry there we've got three units of cavalry we need more just more infantry more infantry um, those dragoons do it kind of cool though but no we will go with more spam out dad infantry um, over here I can't afford anything more this turn but we've nearly got a full army here we just need to put two units of cav in there actually um, yes, that's fine. Uh, actually, yeah, just take a look at Britain. If we did get peace and then want to go to war with them later on, they are ally. Ha ha. Yeah, no, we shouldn't really try and get peace. We should just go for um, for killing them if we can. And building up, trying to build up an army there. Ingra, have these guys replenished any more? No, it looks like they might be struggling with their economy a smidge. They haven't pushed out with that army either, which is good for now. And research and technology, six more turns on fire by rank. Well, we've started in our invasion of Britain. Hopefully we can repair or replenish our army. It should take two turns, I think. 
um, to get them back up to full strength. Hopefully they won't attack in the meanwhile. Hopefully they'll keep their their forces here. I don't know if they have a force in London, but I would assume so. Not just besides the one here. At, oh, it's not Dover, it's Greenwich. Um, not just their force here. So we shall see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part. Please do remember to comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. I'll see you all again soon. Ciao for now.